Hey, hey everybody, happy Friday. Let's see if I can get this camera situated. All right, nobody, nobody breathe. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have had a great week. We finally had a full week of school, hallelujah. Thank you. Next week we have an early release and then a Monday off. <laughs> oh, who needs a full week of school, right? It's been a fun, busy week here. Um, Friday snuck up on me. I usually try to give you guys the sneak peeks Wednesday or Thursday, and I think, I think I forgot. I don't think I posted them until about an hour ago, but I've had your projects um, designed for quite a while. I actually um, pre-recorded all three projects yesterday, and as some weeks go, they were all complete disasters. Sometimes when you record a video, everything goes wrong. Um, yesterday, that, that's what happened. I had wrong measurements, wrong pieces, the camera stopped, the dogs barked, you know. But the good thing about recording a video is that then you can go and edit it, splice it, delete, do all the things you need to do. So hopefully today I've got all the, the kinks worked out. Um, we're going to make three gumball greeting projects. This is an adorable bundle. I think that this bundle will carry over. I have no insider information. That's just what I think. It's adorable. Um, we've had a gumball machine before, right? I think, but this one is really, has lots of options and variety, which we will see today. One of the projects that I'm doing is over the top. We're gonna blend, we're gonna um, emboss with embossing paste. We're gonna color with blends. These projects are long today. So I'm gonna, and we're gonna get started. So let me find, where I'm at, make sure I'm in the right place. And I'm gonna give you guys a few little announcements. I have to go pick up my car today. It's in the shop. I accidentally didn't see a steel beam and parking garage. You know, it happens. It's finally ready. I have to go get it. So we have to be done by 3.30. That's really late. Hopefully we'll be done before that. Okay, so Gumball Greetings, three projects. Let me give you some announcements. Um, this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle is the Artfully Composed Bundle. And I will tell you guys that when I first looked at this bundle, I was like, meh, meh, meh. It's not meh. It is awesome. I love it. And if you look at these projects um, in the All-Star Tutorial Bundle, you will see why. There's really the dyes, the images, the sentiments are all fantastic. So this is this month's all-star tutorial bundle. My project is a little beachy boozy treat. You know how I like to do the little boozy treats. Um, I actually stole, it's upside down, but I actually stole that from my summer lake stash. <laughs> um, there it is right side up. But anyway, you can get this PDF for free when you spend $50 with me. It's also available in my PDF store for $15. 12 video tutorials, all featuring the Artfully Composed Suite. Um, not all by me, just one by me. The other 11 are other demonstrators. So if you're interested in that, I will have a link here when we're done. And I mail those out about once a week. Um, if you put in an online order about once a week, usually on Fridays, I go down the list and send it to everybody who ordered. So if you feel like I forgot you or missed you, let me know, because they go to spam sometimes. Okay, um, what else? Club Create for March. The subscription window is open, and the March Club Create kit features the uber adorable Your Biggest Fan suite of products. There'll be five projects. Somebody asked me this week what the difference was between Club Create and A Class To Go, and I thought that was a great question. Club Create is a subscription. It's $39 a month. It includes about $20 in product. It always has five projects, a video, and a PDF. That $39 includes shipping. You can add on things to the kit, like the bundle, adhesive, things like that. A class, And it's repetitive. Every month, same date, same, um, you know, basic outline, cost, all that. A class to go is different every month, different price every month. Sometimes it has six projects, sometimes it has seven projects, sometimes it has a video, most of the time it doesn't. Shipping is not included in the price. It has several uh, price points. You can get it with a bundle, without the bundle, you know, all these things. So Club Create is something that every month you can count on and it's a subscription. 
The biggest difference I think between the two is that if you do Club Create for six months, you get a $25 product credit as a thank you from me. class to go doesn't have that option. class to go is a standalone. You, you sign up for them um, each month, an individual from the other months. Does that make sense? So the subscription period for this is open. You can cancel any time, even if you want to just um, sign up for one month and then cancel. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I totally get it. Um, what else do I need to tell you? You can pay through PayPal or credit card, and there will be a link here when I'm done today, and there's a link at the top of my blog. Cynthia says, I bought the PDF and love every card. Thanks, Cynthia. I love it all, too. It's so cute and fun, and I don't know. It's really cute. Okay, the class to go this month, the standalone, is the Flowering Rain Boots. You guys, this is such a cute set. It's got the matching dies. Um, this one also features the layering masks. And we need to use these in Facebook during Facebook Friday. I need to show you. Um, it's They're really cool. They're not just masks. They're layering masks. And this class includes a video showing you how to use those. But it's six six projects five cards and one seed packet gift um and they look like this sign up for this there's four different price points on these did i lose my did i lose my post-it sign up on this is deadlines february 18th which is friday a week from today okay and then they will uh ship about a week later I cut them all at the same time, ship them all at the same time, no matter when you sign up. All right, so you have to email me for that registration link because it includes product. I can't list the direct link um, on social media or on my blog. So email me if you want the, the link to sign up for the Flowering Rain Boots class to go. It's a good one for spring. Okay, let's see. I want to show you... I want to show you this new kit. Look, I want to show you how big the box is. It's like a pizza box, the size of the pizza box. And I think I am just as excited about the box <laughs> than I am the project. It's so cute. I'm gonna flip you guys around, okay? Let me make a little bit of room here and I'm gonna flip you guys around so that I can show you what's inside of it. It's a magnet kit, which we have never had before. And I actually ordered several of them because I think they would be cute all together. Like if you mounted three of them like on a wall, I think they'd be very cute. So these are available online. They're $25. I got to turn the fan off so that will stop. Hold on just a sec. Um, there's no stamping in these kits. They are just assembly, which, you know, sometimes you just want something that's easy, right? Kind of a little bit mindless. Well, that's what this is. So first of all, let me show you. Somebody asked me yesterday if this was a dry erase board because it does look like a dry erase board. What I discovered, and I did try my dry erase, you can see on here, it does work, but this isn't actually a dry erase board. Um, it's, it has a plastic coating on it that you can peel off. Um, you know, it really looks like a dry erase board. So I think you could use it as a dry erase board. Um, I don't know how, you know, the staining and stuff, because what's on here is this plastic sheet. Now I wonder, now hold on. I was thinking it wouldn't be shiny. Let's see. Because that really does look like dry erase. Let me see. I um, didn't see anything in the product descriptions about dry erase. So let's see. I'm gonna put something on it, so. I don't care if it messes it up. Okay, look, yes, it is, it is dry erase, it is. So that should answer your question. All right, you can peel that clear plastic off and make a dry erase board. Um, when I, this is a side note, when I was teaching school, I would go to Home Depot and buy, it's like a bathroom backing, um, comes in giant sheets and it's like this and we would cut them down and give them to kids as lap dry erase boards and I would give them one every year for Christmas so I wonder if that's what that is because it looks very similar but anyways it comes with two different sheets that you can choose I think I'm going to go with a pink and you put it on here like this it's like a picture frame and then you have these cute little magnets that stick all right which 
I like those a lot too. Then you have these cute little, like little pocket things that you can put. It comes with some adhesive. Then it comes with a bunch of sticker sheets. Um, it has the same sticker sheet in a bunch of languages, one, two, three, and then English. Um, so, you know, you might have use for those, but if not, there's the whole English sheet and then all of these. And so it's almost like scrapbooking a little bit. You know, you can decorate it however you want. There's also these cards right here. They're like, they look like memory and more cards. Oh, so cute. I haven't even really looked. Very, very cute. And so, you know, you could change it out. Look, there's like a calendar. You could change it out as you go. Wouldn't it be cool if later on they came out with like refills, you know, for the seasons? Again, I have no idea if they're going to. That was just something that popped in my head. But wouldn't that be neat? Okay, so that's that. It is called the Celebrate Today Magnet Board. And I'm really impressed, Stampin' Up. Good job. This is a really cool kit. I think this would be really fun. You know, I was just thinking that this would be awesome for like a birthday party if you have daughters in middle school, like I do. They would love this. You know, everybody gets one. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I don't know. I just thought it in my mind and everybody can do it. And if you have adult friends, <laughs> they would like it too. Um, I don't know. Anyways, and then you get this really cool <laughs> box. I am like, I need boxes like this. This would be really cool to ship Club Create kits in, and then I wouldn't have to cut the paper. Yes. It's like a record box, but different. It's thicker. It's, I don't know. It goes together different. Okay, so let's see what else. This is all I have left. Um, all together, this suite of products that we used last week. Um, I hope you guys liked it. It's really fun. The Stampin' Blends, one of the colors is already on low inventory. So <laughs> don't wait. I am hoping to use this in the next month or so on a, either a club or a class. I love it, love the paper. Hopefully it doesn't sell out. But anyway, don't forget that that's available online only. Um, you can also get it in a starter kit. Remember during celebration, starter kits are $99. You get $125 in product, which would be like all of this. And then two additional stamp sets. Then you get a huge long list of benefits like 20% off your, your purchases or $20 instant income when people order from you. Um, you get to be part of my team where you get free PDFs, class kits at a discount, um, and the list goes on and on and on. I will put a link to all of this um, when we're done today. Okay, phew, that was fast. Well, it's 2.13, it's not that fast. Let's look at winners from last week. Um, Easter friends, Susan Carnero and Patricia Grana. Ladies, thanks for sharing my video. Please message me your addresses so I can send these to you. And Susan, I will get you a fixed, <laughs> a fixed stamp case. Um, this week I've got a bundle. I'm gonna give away the Artfully Layered Bundle. That's that bundle I was just showing you that has that's the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. It's this bundle and it's really, really cool. So if you'd like to win, just share the video on Facebook or YouTube. Let me know that you shared in the comments and I will pick one winner next week at random. All right, well, let's get started. Um, in case you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I pick one product typically. This week it's the Gumball Greetings Bundle and we make three projects with it. Over at pinkbuckaroo.com, has anybody checked to see if the blog post went up? Something weird is happening with my blog. When I schedule a post, it seems to go up and then it turns to gibberish. So if that happens this weekend, I will fix it, but I have to leave it so that my tech guy can see it like that. So if you check it and it's like that, check back the next day, okay? Um, I have to leave it up for a little while so he can see it because I sent him the, the details and he was like, I don't know what that is. So he's got to see it when it happens. Um, but hopefully it's up and the PDF is linked. If not, I will fix all of it when we're done. Um, but anyway, the free PDF is at the bottom under the last photo. If you like today's projects and you would like them um, as free make and takes, I will be happy to send them to you as a thank you for a minimum order, uh, $35 or more. Please make sure you use the host code. It is the same host code as last week's. This is what they look like when they come to you. Here's last week's. Um, I You need the stamps and the ink. 
um, and adhesive. I don't do any pre-stamped images. I send you a little thank you tag in there, but everything else will be there for you. Ribbon, embellishments, die cuts, whatever you need. This week, you will need the whole bundle, the gumball greetings, um, stamps, and dies. And we're using a mask, an embossing paste, so obviously I can't send you that either. But you can use what you have, or you can order whatever it is that you need. All right, let's get started. Let me bring over the first project. This is a week of kind of, you know, over the top a little bit projects. Are you guys game for some over the top projects? I know some of you like the over the top like I do. Um, oh, good. Stacy says it's up and the PDF is there. Woohoo! We got we got both of them working this week. Okay, I have to pull my hair up because once I turn that fan on, it is hot in here. It's like 70 something outside. What is it? 72. Ugh. Come on. Okay, we're going to make a shaker card. And this time we are going to color the gumball machine. We're going to do the gumball machine several different ways today. Um, there are some accessories that go along with this bundle. The first one are the shaker domes. We've had shaker domes in different shapes before. Here is the gumball machine shaker dome. Um, and then there are these super adorable frosted beads. Um, they look like tiny little gumballs and they're so stinking cute. So that's what we're gonna do here on our first card. Um, let's go ahead and do our stamping. Now I messed up my paper last time. <laughs> Make sure I get the right one. Okay, that goes on the inside. And this is for our stamping. We're gonna stamp. We're gonna stamp in Memento Black, which is right here. We're gonna stamp the bottom. You know, I just used this a little while ago on a video for Monday. I better make sure it's clean because it did not look like it was clean. Let's just make sure. Um, hopefully you guys saw this week, um, I posted a bonus video using the Island Vibes Celebration Stamp Set. If you missed it, go back. It was on, I believe, Tuesday or Wednesday or maybe Thursday, <laughs> I think it was Wednesday. Um, I've got another one planned for next week too. So just, I'm trying to get in a few extra things in the middle of the week. Um, sometimes I don't get to it, but this week I did. All right, we're gonna stamp the sentiment in polished pink. I'm a favorite color. We're gonna do that right here. We're gonna cut that out with a tailored tag, tailor-made tag. We're gonna do something with it to make it a little bit shorter. Um, I also need a stamp right here. <laughs> I need to stamp the, the little globe dome that the gumballs go in. Ooh, I just made a mess of my stamp. Let's see. All right, there we go. Let me clean that. Um, this, this kind of confused me when I first used it. And I'm going to show you guys when we get to cutting it out, kind of so you can tell what is what? All right, I'm gonna use Highland Heather. I chose the paper from the Sweetheart Designer Series paper, which is our Valentine paper. And I went with a purple theme. So we've got Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. And I'm, we don't have a Gorgeous Grape stamp and blend, but Highland Heather is pretty close and it, it uh, coordinates very well. The two colors go very well together. So I know that you guys can't really see real close on the Facebook Lives when I do coloring because I don't have any of the fancy software to zoom in. And, and if I try to zoom in, sometimes I screw it up. So I'm not gonna do that. But if you need help seeing it in closer detail, I have the clean recordings loaded to YouTube that you can go over and watch if you want to see it in more detail. All right, now I'm gonna take the dark and I'm just gonna kind of outline. I'm gonna kind of go along the lines, the black lines right here. And I'm gonna go around behind the little, I don't know, what do you call that? You know, like the metal piece where you put the coin in and you turn it. And then we're gonna go back. 
I'm going to go down here a little bit. We're going to go back with our light and just kind of blend it all together. And I'm going to get my color lifter. Oh, that's not my color lifter. Color lifter. I've been using my color lifter quite a bit lately. And I'm going to run it right here to kind of create a shine line. Kind of lightens that color up. Now up here on the lid, I want it to be really light at the top. So I'm not going to go all the way to the top. I'm going to leave a little bit of a white line there at the top. And I am going to put a little bit of dark right here. We'll blend that together. But then I'm going to take that color lifter and I'm going to blend all of that up. So it kind of is a from dark to light. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right. Now for the silver mechanism, I'm just going to use Smoky Slate. And in a little while, there's a die that is this exact piece that you can cut out from colored cardstock or silver foil, which is what we'll do in the next project. All right, so color that. I used to have a gumball machine in my classroom when I first started teaching. That was fun. Um, then they made a rule that you couldn't give out candy or food at school, which... <laughs> You know, kids will work for a Skittle, let me tell you. So that kind of put a damper on things. I don't know what happened to that gumball machine. It was cute. I don't even remember where I got it. But the kids loved it. All right, there we go. All right, let's bring over that cut and emboss machine. Now, this piece right here, we're going to need, this is going to be the, the top piece. And this, this is the die that I told you is very confusing. Um, when I first did this, use this bundle, I was like, what, huh? I don't know which way this goes. Well, if you'll notice, this end is wider than this end. It's a little more narrow. And I didn't notice that at first. But over here on the stamp, it kind of turns down just a little bit right there. So that's the bottom that you would set down into the gumball machine. And that's the wider part of the die all right so once you once you see how it works then it's not confusing anymore but that first that first go with it i was like okay now what because i think i cut it out and it was obviously the opposite i didn't do it right all right so we'll put that on here then we've got oh kimberly i was just thinking about that she said she had a gumball machine but the movers um broke the glass it seems like that may have been what happened to mine because as I was talking about it, I was thinking it broke, but I'm not for sure. I have a terrible memory. So, because I remember that glass being very like, you know, like you're always scared you're going to drop it. All right, now this is the smallest Taylor Tag die. I'm going to put it like that. See how the word, we have a little bit of space down here. Put the word up close to the top. And I'll show you why in just a second. All right, let's run all this through. I got my nails done today and it's very bright. I wanted a hot pink and it's really a, like a summer hot pink. She said, don't worry, it'll get lighter. I go, okay. Well, I have a video today, a Facebook meeting with my friends. It better not be blinding them. All right, now here's this tag. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna move it up like that, okay? So this part is sticking out. Actually, let's turn it this way, like that. And I'm gonna put it through, well, now I screwed it up. I was hoping I could keep it right on there because once you get it, you can feel it kind of sit down in the stitching. And I'm gonna run it through just so that it cuts that end right there, just boop. You have to make that noise, that, you know, boop noise. Look at my new plates. They're not looking so new anymore. All right, so see, that made it shorter. All right, last thing we need to do. Yeah, she said, oh, there's spring 
they're spring nails. I was like, well, that's kind of like beach color. <laughs> like I'm going to the beach, but whatever. All right, now this is the piece we're gonna load all these pieces on. You, I could have stamped the dome over here, but I was afraid it, I would get it crooked, whatever. So cutting it out like that and then laying this on here where I have a little bit better control of it is I think a little bit easier for me. Anyway. All right, and I use my post-it tape. There we go. All right, now I think we can start piecing this all together. We've got our gumball machine. I've got these little hearts everywhere. There, you'll see them in the third project. Oh, I wanted to show you, look, when this cuts out the bottom, come on, dimensional. Um, when you cut this out, it cuts the door open and it makes a little slot right there for the coin. I didn't use the coin at all, I should have. It's really cute, you can cut it out and then put it kind of going in the slot. Clever, clever Stampin' Up. All right, and now we're gonna put that little top right there. All right, now for the dome, it has this backing on it, on the front and the back, this little kind of like our tear and tape. So tear that off and I gotta get it just right. Let's see, this looks like maybe I need to do it a little bit lower. Hold on, let me peel that off because that's sticking out, hold on. Like that, yeah, see, I want that covered, so let's put that back on a little bit lower. Like that, there we go, okay? Now, I'm gonna put a bunch of adhesive on here because in a minute, we're gonna flip it over and I don't wanna have to do that while all the little gumballs are in there. All right, now, come on. Come on. Oh, goodness. Let's see if I can get this backing off. There we go. Peel that off and put your little gumballs in. They're so cute. You've got to be very careful so they don't go flying. And you don't want to overfill your dome because if you fill it all the way up, then they won't shake around. All right, now I'm going to lay this down in here and of course it fits just right in there like that and I've got a piece of gorgeous grape that is just an eighth of an inch bigger very carefully lay that down on there all right all right now let's bring over our card this is a gorgeous grape card base and I've got a piece of Highland Heather. So we're we're pulling in the Highland Heather and the Gorgeous Grape together. They, they look like they were made for each other. They go together so well. Here's our strip of Sweetheart Designer Series paper. And we'll put that right there. And then we'll get dimensionals. And put that right there. And we'll lay that down right there. All right, now for our little tag, we'll bring a little tag and put that right there. Now we've got Highland Heather ribbon. It's pretty wide. So as you can see, I'm gonna cut it in half long ways like that. And we will cut or um, tie a little bow. I can hear a lawnmower outside. It's so bizarre to hear a lawnmower in the winter. So bizarre. I've heard them a lot this year. Our grass is still growing, which is strange because we had a big freeze. Or some people's grass is growing. Mine's not. I guess it depends on what kind of grass you have, huh? All right, mini glue dots. like that all right so cute now for the inside now you guys are gonna have to forgive me because i use the same stamp over and over again and i they're gonna be on the wrong trays i know it i'm gonna get polished pink 
and gorgeous grape and granny apple and we've got three gumballs on one stamp so i'm just gonna do like this i'm gonna stamp one in the corner there one in the corner there and one in the corner there you can see what you're doing so as long as you're paying attention <laughs> to what you're doing which isn't always the case with me you can be real careful and ink them all three at the same time and just stamp them you have to stamp the same little gumball in the same color each time um, because you're not cleaning it all right and then boop all right and close all these Uh, as Brandy has certainly made it look easy because this is the third time I've made the card. So after the first two times, you get all the kinks worked out, right? And I can show you where to not do what I did to screw things up. Last thing we're going to do is add a few of the little gumballs. I like to have one in here in the little door. One here, one here, one here. Um, I think this card is really cute for kids. Um, I think it's kind of a you know, unique, and I think that they would like it. Um, but again, adults would love it too, I'm pretty sure. Um, now, as far as shipping a shaker card, I think we used to, a long time ago, have envelopes, envelopes specifically for shaker cards. Um, a very long time ago. Not shaker cards. They were, remember the sweet treat cups that we had like 10 years ago? They were for that. Well, we don't have those anymore. And I've looked online and you can't find them. So I think if you're going to mail this, it's going to have to be in like a padded envelope. You know, like a, like a four by six or a, what are they? They four by six, five by seven, whatever. And they cost about $3 to ship. So this is maybe a card. Now, if it's for your grandchild, I think the $3 would be absolutely well worth it right um but maybe it's a card that's better hand getting <laughs> maybe okay what do you guys think cute right very cute it's over the top a little bit um but the next card it's quite over the top but it's my favorite all right let me clean up my mess and then we'll do that next card all right, it, these, this, that project went a lot faster today than it did yesterday. Boy, yesterday was like, gosh, kept having to redo things, redo things. Then my camera stopped. They didn't notice and I had to start over. Ugh, so annoying. All right, we're going to blend. We're going to do some blending. We're going to do embossing paste, which... I love embossing paste. I know some of you are like, ugh, but it's so cool. All right, let me get all my stuff out here. We need this, we need this. I'll just put this over here. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is that background, okay? We're gonna blend with ink and then emboss on top of it and then we gotta give it some time to dry. Now it says happy Valentine's Day and I know I'm kind of cutting it close with Valentine's Day. So if you don't need a Valentine's Day card, <laughs> you can use any sentiment. Find a long and skinny happy birthday card maybe. I mean, uh, happy birthday sentiment you can put across there. Hold on, I'm getting bread paper. My bread paper is giving me issues. You could do a thank you, whatever doesn't have to be Valentine's Day, okay? All right, we're gonna start with a piece of uh, four by four, four and a quarter by five and a half basic white. And I'm gonna stick it to my grid paper, just a little bit of adhesive on the back. And then we're gonna get three blending brushes and we're gonna use Polish Pink, Pale Papaya, and Fresh Freesia. These are all um in colors and i couldn't remember these two right polished pink and pale papaya are our newest group of in colors somebody correct me if i'm wrong 
But Fresh Freesia will be retiring in April. All right, we're going to start with Pale Papaya across the top. And you want to start off the edge of the paper first. And you can do this as little or as much as you want. Okay. All right, now let's do polished pink. That was kind of the color I was going for today. Polished pink color. I should have taken in cardstock. This is more like a, a um, magenta madness, I think. A little more vibrant. All right, I'm going to kind of go up into the pale papaya. Oh, my arm is already sore and I haven't even gotten a third color. Okay, now fresh freesia. No? Yes, Fre fresh freesia. No, is fresh freesia new? Why can't I remember these things? Fresh Freezy is new, it is. Are all three of these new? What are the old colors? Magenta Madness, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight. And what else? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look. I told you guys, I have a terrible memory. I have a terrible memory. Well, that's good. Then we have, we have, we have another year with all three of these, right? Okay, let's just stop and, and look, because I can't remember. I swear, the older I get, the harder it is for me to remember this kind of this stuff. Okay. Fresh Freesia, yeah, all three of them are this year's in colors. Last year's are Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Bumblebee, Magenta Mattis, Mo Misty Moonlight. Oh, Cinnamon Cider. That one's going away in April. I love that color and Misty Moonlight and Bumblebee. Oh no. And just Jade, what the heck? I like all those colors. <sighs> That's the thing about in colors. You get attached to them. Sometimes it, there may be one you don't like, or two or three, but this year, those, those are all good. All right, I'm gonna start back up here at the top. And I'm gonna just kind of go over. I'm trying to really get the colors to blend. Once we put the dots on, it will just really, you, you won't see any separation in the color. And the more that you do this, the more intense your colors are gonna get and the more they're gonna blend. My arm's hurting, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more sweep with the polished pink and we're gonna call it good. All right. Oh, I just love polished pink. There we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. It's super weak. Now, we're going to use this mask. This is a one of our plenty of patterns masks. And I'm going to use I'm going to also use the grid lines here on my grid paper to line it up perfectly. Put a little bit of that post-it tape, painter's tape, whichever you wanna use. Now, embossing paste will dry out even when the lid is on. But what I have found is that if you stick in some saran wrap or press and seal like I have done here, it stays fresh. All right, I've had this for a couple months now and no problem. I've got a palette knife, Stampin' Up! sells a set of three palette knives. And we're just gonna kinda, almost like you're icing a cake, all right? And the thing to remember about embossing paste is that whatever it looks like, like if I was to leave it like that, it would dry exactly like that with all those ridges and bumps. So you wanna, after you get all the little holes filled in, really take the edge of your palette knife and scrape it all off. Just, you wanna just leave what's in those holes. Now, the other thing to know about embossing paste is that you could also pave your driveway with it. It dries <laughs> super hard and does not come off of your palette knife or your mask. And you've really got like, like a minute maybe window to get it off. So, you have to immediately, don't set it aside and go clean it when you're done with your project. Look at that. 
you got to go clean it immediately. So I have a bowl of water here so I can set it down in there and it won't ruin while we finish Facebook Friday. All right. What do you guys think? Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Okay. I'm going to set that aside to dry and now we'll make the gumball machine. Because I knew these projects were going to take a long time, I did a bunch of this ahead of time, okay? I stamped, this time I stamped the gumball machine on the polished pink designer series paper. Um, I put an adhesive sheet on the back of polished pink cardstock, and I cut this, this die out. Man, I feel like I have an ant down here on my ankle, but it's not ant season. What's going on? Um... <laughs> Um, this little piece right here. So I put adhesive sheet on the back before I cut it out. And I have orange ink in my nails. That looks weird. Embossing paste. It's going to be there forever now. All right. Peel that off. And I'm going to set that right down on there. Oops. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Let's get you on here straight. You guys, I like to tell you what we've been watching, and you guys tell me what you've been watching. We watched Reacher on Amazon Prime. Have you guys watched that? If you watch shows with your husband, this is a good one. It is a book series my husband has read. I don't know. It's like a an ex-Special Forces guy, you know, kind. I don't know, whatever. But But he's very handsome. I will tell you that. Yeah, he, it makes it interesting for everybody to watch. So if you and your husband, or even just you, are looking for something to watch, it's called Reacher, and it's on Amazon. How many of you have watched it? It's good. I actually enjoyed the story. <laughs> wasn't just the scenery, I promise. See how I cut that out of silver foil? It looks pretty cool, and it has a little slot there for the coin, too. All right, now we'll get our... Um, you guys liked Reacher or watching it now? Yeah, it's good. Now I'm like, when's season two? The other thing that we've been watching is that my mom was calling. I put it on Do Not Disturb. Are you guys still there? Why did it come through? Are you guys there? It's on Do Not Disturb. Weird, mom. You're not supposed to call me on Facebook Friday. Why didn't it go on Do Not Disturb? That's very strange because it says on my watch that it is. I hope it's not an emergency. She'll get on here and she'll tell me. Um, okay, a little bit of glue right there. I don't know what I was saying. Right there. Boop, boop. Okay, and then we'll put a little bit of glue on here. This time, we're not going to use the little um, the little beads, frosted beads. We are going to use, where is it? This image right here. All right, I stamped it twice in gorgeous grape pale papaya um polished pink and fresh freesia okay so look we have all these little hearts now you have to cut them out it takes about five minutes again this project has a lot of steps but it's a special cute little project that is worth it all right now i'm gonna put um a bunch of little dots here we're gonna layer up a bunch of these adorable little hearts Okay, good, y'all are still there. That's weird. It says on my watch, I can see it says, do not disturb is on. And usually that means nothing comes through. And my mom knows that it's Facebook Friday. I just hope that everything's okay. There's like this new feature now on iPhone. If I text my daughter and it says, Emma has her phone notifications off and then it'll say notify her anyway. I'm like, wait a minute. If I have my notifications off, you know, like do not disturb. I, I don't want people to interrupt me. I don't like that option. <sighs> I had to get a new watch. I like the dingbat I am dropped it last week and didn't even notice, but it cracked, which, okay, I can take that and get it fixed, right? Well, then I got in the shower with it cracked and basically fried it. So my husband said, well, I need to get you something for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Do you want a new watch? Yes, 
That's what I want for Valentine's Day. But I felt kind of bad. I'm like, that's kind of an expensive Valentine's gift. But he was happy that he was kind of off the hook and he didn't have to think about anything. So moral to the story, you guys, if you crack your watch, take it off before you get in the shower. Look how cute that is. I mean, come on. It's worth the work. It is. Now, we got to bring over the cut and emboss machine because we're going to do one thing that I want to show you. Um, This sentiment, the long and skinny happy Valentine's Day. We're going to use the message die. Um, You know, Trisha, I know that you can have an approved list. I don't think I do. I've looked at that, but I don't think I've, because she, I knew she would, she would be the one to <laughs> call me. I don't get very many calls. It's usually my mom. Um, sorry, mom, if you're listening. Now, we're going to use this long. No, 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 no. What? I'm wrong. We're using this one, this long and skinny. So we need it up here. And I'm going to put that right there. Again, we're going to shorten this die because it's way too long. So we're going to kind of do the same thing we did. So let me run it through. Well, my machine is like moving across the table. All right, so now... I love this message die. I didn't think I would love it, but I do love it. Okay, now here's the thing I learned about this. I could not get it straight. So if I, I, know, I figured that if I put the tape down, it would stay in its place. And then I could put this here like that, very carefully, lay it down, and then just a little boop, like that. Just the end, that's all you need. And voila. Oops. Oops. Ignore that part. <laughs> voila. Well, you know, it kind of worked. I don't know. It worked fine. I'm going to trim it because I don't like that little piece. How come it worked the three other times I did it, but then today it did it? Oh, Murphy's Law. All right. So 1883, if you guys watched that too, um, <laughs> Cynthia says you have me hooked on post-it tape me too Cynthia me too whoever invented post-it tape love them it's very I know I know it's it's a luxury I love it all right a few little mini dimensionals right there now I have a scalloped um scalloped rectangle from the contour scallop dies contour scallop dies did I put that on the spy list I think I did we're gonna put this, it's vellum. So we're gonna put our cute little machine here. One thing I also wanted to do was add a couple of hearts down here like we did with a gumball. So let me put a couple of little dots and we'll put one coming out like that. Okay, and then we'll get a smaller one and put that one right there. There we go. Oh, nope. Come on, come on, there we go. Okay, so super cute, right. So cute, I love it, I know. Now, before we take this off, it's dry. We're going to get our twine and we're gonna color it. You don't need a very big piece. We're gonna color it with stamp and blend. Um, let's do the darker Highland Heather and you could leave your twine white if you wanted but I mean we've gone over the top with every other bit of this card so we might as well go over the top here too just run that underneath the brush tip of your Stamp and blend, and you've got purple twine. All right, we're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna pull this off, and we're gonna trim it down. Remember, I made it a little bit bigger than it needed to be, just in case. Give myself a little bit of wiggle room if I messed up an edge with the tape or whatever, which I didn't, looks pretty good. And then we'll take off I'm going to take off an eighth of an inch. Let's see, an eighth of an inch from the bottom. Nope. Well, what do I have here? Okay, come on, Erica. 
use your brain and then an eighth of an inch here so that it's five and a fourth. Okay. And now let's put it on our basic white card base. Um, because this paper is has a lot of stuff on it now, it's going to be kind of, it's going to have a tendency to kind of curl up maybe a little bit. So I'm going to really be heavy handed with the adhesive because I want it to stay flat, especially along those edges. Okay. Right there. Now over here, we're going to take dimensionals. Oh, Christine, Sweet Magnolia's on Netflix. I've been meaning to watch that. Season two is out, right? And the fabulous Mrs. Maisel, marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Have you guys watched that? Season four is coming out on, on Prime. That is a good show. Um, and I like Sweet Magnolia's too. And I didn't expect to like that show as much as I did. All right. Let's bring our twine back and we're almost done. There we go. If you guys have not read, um, oh, I'm drawing a total blank. The book that's at the movie right now. Um, hello, what is it? It's a Christian romance book. I, I mean, I guess you would consider it a romance. It's about a woman who was sold into prostitution as a child, and it's about Redeeming love. That's it. It's about redeeming love. It's so good. Read the book first then drag your husband or whoever with you to go see the movie. My husband loved it. It was so good. Okay, there you go. What do you guys think? Is it worth all the work? I think so. We've got a few of these hearts left. We could sprinkle them on the inside too. I love this. If you don't need a Valentine's card, just change the words. That's all you have to do, okay? Okay, what time is it? Oh, man, I am moving right along today. Prep work, all the prep work helped me get ready. All right, we got one more project, and you guys are going to love this one. I think you're going to love it. Let me make a little bit of room here. We are done with all of this, so I can move all of that over here. We're going to make a test tube treat. Look how cute it is. A little gumball test tube treat using, whoops, there goes the test tube, using, hold on, hold on, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, using these test tubes that you can find on Amazon. Um, I linked them today for you. And then the gumballs, also from Amazon, double bubble gumballs. All right, and they're in lots of colors, but I just, because we're doing pinks and purples, well, that one has some different colors, but pinks and purples, I picked out the pink and the white and the purple. And it's a little holder. Now, I think that this would be a great party favor. Or, if you don't have a birthday party or whatever, you could make these up. I've told you guys this before. Make them up, keep them in your desk at work, and when it's your coworker's birthday and you didn't know, you can say, pull it out and say, look, I brought you something for your birthday. And they'll think, wow, she made that just for me. Very inexpensive. The bag of um, test tubes, I think, has 30 in the package. So pretty, pretty easy. Get a lot of them out of there, and the the lean, the gum actually had two of those. I need to get them out of here because I'm chewing that gum, and it's terrible. It doesn't last very long, <laughs> and it's not sugar free. But I keep chewing it because it tastes good. All right, I'm trying to make some room because I have a disaster here on my desk. A disaster. Let me move some of this stuff out of here. We don't need that. We need that. We need that. We need that. Okay, move that. Move this over here. Do I need any more of that? Oh, yeah, I do. I need that. Okay. First things first, let's make the little holder, okay? Now, the measurements for this are right here on the second page of our PDF, okay? You're going to have two different, what did I do with my Simply Score? Here it is. Two different gorgeous, great pieces. Um, the longer one is two and a fourth by eight, and that's the one you're going to score. 
All right, so we're gonna score it at one and three fourths, two and a half, five and a half, and six and a fourth. Now the second piece, you're not gonna score, but it is six and a half by two and a fourth. Okay, now we're gonna fold this kind of accordion like that, forwards and backwards, so that it looks like that. You're gonna need a three quarter inch circle punch. We don't have these anymore. If you have one, great. If not, look in your die, see if you have a circle that would be close to three quarters of an inch. If not, you can get one on Amazon. And there's a link for you today on the blog post. I'm sure most of you have that. See how I did it a little bit beyond that, that line, okay? Because this is three quarters of an inch, the space there. And so the circle just barely fits. So I make it go beyond that score line just a tiny bit, okay? Now, grab your adhesive and put adhesive on either end. And we're gonna line it up at the bottom like that. And then line it up at the top like that. And then get it situated and that's what it looks like. All right, so fill, fill your test tube with your gumballs and slide it through. It just barely fits in there, but that's good because it's gonna hold it in place. It's not gonna come out when you don't want it to. All right, so that's how it is. Oh, we gotta do the designer series paper. And it seems like, okay, good, here's the other piece. All right, so right there and right there. This is Gorgeous Grape from the Brights stack. All right, so now all we gotta do is make a little tag. I have a basic white label that I cut out from the Hippo and Friends dies. And we're gonna stamp the gumball machine in Memento. Well, darn it, let's try that again because it seems like I missed the corner. There we go. And we're gonna bring over all those, basically all the same colors we've been using. I'm gonna use um, dark in all of them. So dark Highland Heather. And the little gumballs are tiny, so really, this would be a good time for me to have my glasses, which I don't. But I'm just gonna kinda do a little like I mean, almost like dot, 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 okay? And then we've got dark polished pink. Oh my gosh, I need glasses. I need my glasses. I don't need them very often, but when I need them, I need them. All right, oh, let's see one right there. And then a little pumpkin pie. Like that. Dark pumpkin pie. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job. I'm glad you guys can't see it. <laughs> Up close, it's not looking so good because I am can't get my head right above it. Little dot, dot, dot. All right, what else do we have? Granny apple green. And then I'm gonna leave some of them white. Uh, I guess we could do a blue also. I don't didn't get a blue, but a blue would be good. All right, I think that's good. You see, it's pretty messy. <laughs> All righty, now we're gonna use polished pink here for our gumball machine. Originally, you know, I think of a gumball machine as being um, red, right? but it can be any color you want it to be. All right, let's get our dark. I think I'm supposed to leave that gray, but I didn't. Oh, well. Now blend it all with your light. Let's put a little more color up here. 
And then we'll get our smoky slate and color that part right there. All right, so we're gonna cut that out, it has a die. We're also gonna take this cute little row of hearts. That's where all the little random hearts are coming from. And we're gonna cut that out. So let's use my small my mini cut and emboss machine. Do I have all my plates? No, I don't, I'm missing a plate. Oh, you know what? It's behind the table, it fell down there the other day. I'm not gonna get it right now, so we'll just have to use this guy. But these do all fit in your mini cut and emboss machine. If you have the mini. I like that mini. It's so much lighter and easy to easier to move back and forth. Okay. Now, I think my strip of polished pink cardstock is a little bit too fat. So we're gonna turn that down a little bit. There's that. There's all those little hearts. They're so cute. I need to use them for something. Let me grab my little trimmer. And we're gonna cut this down. I wanted it a little bit skinnier, like a quarter inch. There we go. And now, oh goodness, oh my gosh, these nails. Ah. All right, a little strip of gorgeous grape designer series paper. Thanks, Tia, I appreciate that. These were really fun. I had fun, I had a lot of fun with these, um, designing these. I hope this, I hope this bundle sticks around. I hope it doesn't retire because I think this would be great for all kinds of things. All right, I'm gonna take that and do it kind of sideways, kind of at a diagonal. And then we will put this on with dimensionals. Another shaker card, Becky, that's a great idea, those little hearts. It's a great idea. It's probably what that die is meant for, right? All right, let's stand. We're going to use that same sentiment from the beginning, the first one. Wishing you the sweetest day ever. Now, there's a sentiment in here that says, I choose you, C-H-E-W-S. That would make these really cute little Valentine treats, right? That would be really cute. All right, we're going to go back to this. Remember this one we used at the beginning? Let me... Clean it because this time we are only going to do one at a time. I'm just going to do one because I don't, I don't know. I kind of wish that they weren't all together on the same stamp. You could cut them apart, but you can also do this because it's photopolymer. You can see exactly what you're doing and you can just do one at a time. All right, now we'll do got to pay attention to what you're doing, making sure that you're only getting one gumball inked at a time. I'll do one over here. And then we'll get our polished pink. Oops. I almost got two of them on there. All right, well, I feel like I need one more to bounce. Ah, Let's see if I can do that. There we go. All right, we need to add a bow and then we're done. All right, a little, look, it's the black and white twine again. <laughs> Every week, it's either the black and white twine or the gingham ribbon. I feel like we don't have a huge variety of choices in our ribbon right now. We need more of the bright colors in our ribbons and twines. Stampin' Up, hello, please, are you listening? And <laughs> less mint macaron. I'm not a mint macaron fan, and we have like, I don't know, two or three mint macaron ribbons. I mean, come on, no granny apple green ribbon. Again, they didn't call me and ask me my opinion. I'm not sure why. 
They, they don't. But you know what? I will be there in a month. Maybe I can tell them all my opinions. I thought today, I thought of something. And now I can't even remember what it was. Oh, I know. Something dumb like, why are we using bubble wrap in our packages? Because I hate it. I want to go back to the brown paper. If you've been around for a while, they used to use brown packing paper. And I love that way better. Because now I am cutting down bubble wrap constantly. And I, it's such a waste and I hate it. So I'm going to ask them when I'm there next month for my million dollar sales retreat. I'm going to have a little list of questions. <laughs> They're like, oh, great. Oh, great. Okay, what do you guys think? Is this not cute or what? Easy. Party favor. Treat. You know what? Send it to your teacher, your kid's teacher for Valentine's Day. You know, it could be whatever you want. Whatever you want. Okay, let's look at what we did today. And then I'm going to show you Monday's project. So we've got that. And then we've got the over-the-top uber adorable card. And then the less over-the-top, somewhat over-the-top shaker card. Now, if you want a make and take for each of these, all you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight using this host code. If you don't use this host code, I assume you don't want the make and takes. If you forget the host code, just send me an email. I can take care of it. But I take it as a message that you don't want the projects if you don't use the host code. The only caveat to that, you guys, is that if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because then you get stamp and rewards and I will still send you the projects for free automatically, okay? All right, so there's, there is that. Um, that was kind of a Texas accent squeaking out. Did you hear that? There's that. I don't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> here's Monday's card. It is a fun fold gift card holder. Okay. And the video will be up on Monday on my blog. So now look, you have four ways to use the gumball greetings. You can order anything you want, you guys, to get these projects. It doesn't have to be the gumball greetings, which by the way, I was going to also point out that the gumball greetings bundle is $41. Usually our dye bundles are more expensive than that. Um, I was impressed by that price. It's a pretty reasonably priced bundle um, as far as Stampin' Up! products go. So if you haven't gotten it, you need to get it. Um, remember, if your order is over $50, have I even mentioned celebration today? If your order is over $50, you're also going to get a celebration item from this catalog. Next week, we are doing the Daffodil Afternoon Daffodil what's the stamp set called daffodil i can't remember daydream daffodil Day says right there we're doing all of this next week okay i couldn't let this paper go by without using it. it's so beautiful so that's what we'll be doing next friday all right you guys have a wonderful weekend let me know if you have questions um don't forget if you want these your order has to be in by monday at midnight and if you have questions let me know thanks guys for joining me i'll see you next week bye